NASA Administrator Bill Nelson. Administrator Nelson, great to have you back on. Hey, great to be here, Morgan. Uh, so given the fact that we do have a pretty rich cadence of human space flights afoot right now, how is all of this bringing us closer to a commercialized low Earth orbit in which more people are traveling to space and working in space? Big time. Uh, it's gotten cheaper to go to and from orbit. Uh, private business, uh, the commercial industry is realizing that there are businesses to be established in space, and that is happening as we speak. And the cost of getting a pound to orbit is just going to get lower and lower as we get more efficient. Uh, and uh, this is, we're basically taking commercial business off the face of the earth and put it up in space. Mm. Uh, I know it's still very early days, but how do you feel about the research that's coming out of this AX-1 mission? Well, that's their own private uh, business. Mm -hmm. uh, we are doing things together. Yeah. And it's our hope that we keep the International Space Station going for another eight years, and then we want to deorbit the ISS, and we want there to be a commercial space station or stations of which NASA would become a, a less lessee, and we would do our continuing research, let it be a commercial operation, NASA can concentrate on our mission, we're going back to the moon, by the mm -hmm. way, this year, and then we're going to Mars. So let's talk about that, because the Mega Moon rocket, the Boeing made space launch system, the SLS, it's making its way off the launch pad in coming days for repairs after some setbacks during testing. What does that do to the timeline, not only for this upcoming Artemis 1 mission, but also to the ability of NASA to put astronauts on the moon by 2025? We still think it will be June or July that we will launch. Uh, that should not affect uh, the landing on 25. Uh, we're going to have the second uh, Artemis uh, mission that will be a crewed mission that will orbit around the moon for 30 days. And then a year later, which would be 2025, uh, we'll have a crew that will land on the surface of the moon. So I'd be remiss because it is Earth Day if I didn't ask you about the work that NASA is doing, because so much of the climate research that actually happens is from or linked to space. And whether it is climate research or whether it is Earth science research, NASA is just instrumental in all of this. How is that evolving to include more commercial companies as well? Uh, most people think of NASA space, but NASA is the point of the spear on the environment, on climate change, on understanding what's happening to our climate, because of all those assets up there and the great observatories that we will still put up are measuring very precisely and eventually a 3D-dimensional understanding of what is happening to our planet. Give you an example. How does it relate to uh, commercial business? Uh, we uh, have instruments up there that can tell a farmer that his corn crop has a deficiency of water, but his wheat field next door is okay. That precise. Uh, instruments that help us on fighting fires. Mm. Instruments that are telling us what is the level of the ocean and instruments that we're going to put up later this year, uh, uh, an instrument called SWAT, that will tell us for the first time the level of fresh water, the lakes and the rivers and the streams and the reservoirs. All of that is happening as we speak. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.